Are you looking for a way to speed up your streaming videos so that you can watch them even faster? Well, in this video, we're gonna run through how to speed up your YouTube videos as well as Vimeo, Wistia, and pretty much any other video out there that's on a website to two speed, three speed, or even four speed with a simple video speed controller. So if you haven't tried this before, then this is an absolute game changer. So stick around and give it a try for yourself. And trust me, you won't look back. Hey, it's Justin Brownie from Primal Video, where we help entrepreneurs and business owners amplify their business and brand with video. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now, if you're watching longer YouTube videos or you're streaming something like an online course or you're just really watching any sort of long form content in your web browser, it can get a bit tedious. So there's so much content out there to consume. If you're anything like me, there's too much and there's not enough time to do it. So what do you do? You speed it up. So it sounds obvious, but if you haven't tried it yet, it's an absolute game changer. I can punch through things like an online course in less than half the time or speed through longer form content to skip to the good stuff much, much faster. And these days, I really can't live without it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily speed up YouTube, Wistia, Vimeo, and other HTML5 videos to two speed, three speed, or even four speed with just the click of a button. So there's actually a couple of different ways to do this. We're gonna look at the obvious way first before we get into the tool that we are currently using. So the first method doesn't require any additional plugins and it's gonna work by default, but it'll only allow you to speed up to a maximum of two speed and it's gonna rely on your standard video players. So we'll cover this off first because if two speed is all that you're after, then this might be the easiest option. But after a while, I guarantee you, you'll get used to it and two speed won't be enough. So when I say two speed, I mean that you're playing back your videos at twice the speed that they were recorded at. So YouTube, for example, supports playback in the built-in YouTube player to let you speed up by two times or slow it down by two times. So on YouTube, all you need to do is while you're playing a video, hit the little settings button or the little cog wheel and go to speed and you can change it there from normal to 1.25 to 1.5 or to two. And obviously the higher the number, the faster the video is going to play back. Now, if you're watching YouTube videos through your smartphone as well, through the YouTube app, you can actually speed up your videos as well. All you need to do once you're playing the video is hit the three little dots in the top right hand corner. And in the menu that appears, you can go down to play playback speed and again change it from normal and boost it up to a maximum of two speed. So the process is almost exactly the same in things like Vimeo and Wistia. You can control the speed in there as well as long as the owner of the video or the owner of the account the video is hosted through has enabled that feature for that video. So that's how you can speed things up to two speed. But two speed, while it's nice and all, it's not three speed or four speed. So let's jump straight to the big guns and ramp that up even more. Okay, so option number two, and this is where things start to get pretty cool, is called Video Speed Controller, and it's actually a Chrome plugin. So this will give you an extra set of tools that appears across any HTML5 video. So that's YouTube, that's Vimeo, that's Wistia, that's even Facebook Lives that aren't live, but you're watching the replay of them, you can then speed those back up as well. So there's a heap of videos out there, and I'm sure there's others I'm missing, pretty much almost any video that's embedded on a website, this will work for. And the biggest other feature is this lets you go well beyond two speed as well. So how this works, once you've downloaded and installed the video speed controller plugin in your Chrome browser, when you open up a web page that has a video on it, what you'll see in the video in the top left hand corner is a little number one or 1.00. So this is showing you that your current playback speed is one. Now all you need to do to increase or decrease the speed here is put your mouse up over that number one and you'll get a bigger menu that appears with a plus and minus button on that. You can obviously increase the speed by hitting the plus button or you can slow it down by hitting the minus button. There's a couple of really cool features with this as well. So if you wanna hide that menu so that you're not seeing it, you can go into the settings and tick the box to hide the menu. And if you wanna control the speed without clicking the mouse, you can actually use keyboard shortcuts. So you can increase your video speed by using the letter D on the keyboard or decrease the speed by using S. You also have the ability to save a preferred speed. So if there is a podcast or a YouTube creator that you like watching their content and you're able to listen to it at 2.65 speed and that's your speed for their content then you can set that as your preferred speed and all you need to do is when you're playing their content press that keyboard shortcut and it would automatically jump to that speed for you. There's also keyboard shortcuts that you can use to either fast forward or rewind the video so really you can control the whole playback 
and the speed experience just using your keyboard shortcuts once you've got this plugin installed. Now there's another really big feature that this plugin has and that's the ability to, while speeding things up, have them sound normal. So typically when you're speeding things up and you're playing things at two speed or three speed, things start to sound like the chipmunks. Everything goes high pitched and it's really hard to understand what is being said. So what this does is it keeps the pitch the same. So it's able to speed things up, but it also keeps the pitch the same or what we would expect to hear at a normal level so that everything sounds normal, which is amazing. And even when we're comparing this plugin side by side with YouTube speed controller, so setting a YouTube video both to play back at two speed, the video speed controller did a much better job. It kept everything clear. Whereas the YouTube plugin at two speed almost sounded a little warbly or like it was missing bits of the audio. So it was a lot harder to understand at two speed than the plugin. Now one little quick word of warning or disclaimer here, we've been using this plugin for quite a long time now without any issues, but obviously adding extensions to your Chrome browser or really any browser, you can bring in security risks. So definitely this is a use at your own risk, but we are flying the flag for it because it's an awesome tool and it saved us a heap of time. And as far as we know, it's working fine without any issues. So take a look for yourself, but use it at your own risk. Now, for those of you who have never tried this before or have never even thought to try it before, or maybe you've tried it and you couldn't understand what was being said in the videos because it was going too fast, then this is a tip that will help you out to really master and use this because it is a real game changer. How many times have I said game changer this video? it's a game changer. So all you need to do is pick a video, press play on the video and set the speed to, let's say two speed. If you've never done this before, start at two speed. Now you might not understand what's going on in this video or understand what's happening for the first part, but stick with me. Keep listening to it for 15 to 30 seconds, even though you're not understanding it. After that time, go back and play that same section of the video again, back at say 1.5 speed. So a little bit slower than what you just heard and your brain will be able to decipher it as if it was normal. So go faster than you can understand and listen to that and then slow it down a bit and then you'll start to make sense of it. Now this is something that the more you do, the faster you'll be able to go, but it does also come down to the content, especially how people are presenting on cameras. You might find that with my content, because I speak a little slower, you're able to speed me up to three speed and still understand fine. But it could mean that you need to listen at four speed to be able to then work backwards to get to three speed so that you're able to understand everything that I'm saying. So no matter where you're at with this, you can always listen to a faster speed for a short period of time and then slow it down and then it'll sound like it's normal for you and you'll then be able to understand everything at that new speed. And what's really interesting after you've been watching video content at a faster speed for a while is then go back and listen to it at one speed and it will be painfully slow to watch a video at the speed it was actually created at. So this is a massive productivity tip and it's a quick way to consume online courses or even just consume YouTube videos definitely give it a go if you haven't yet. This is something that I use every day. So now that you're able to play back your videos faster, if you're interested in editing your videos faster, great segue there, Justin, then check out the link on screen now to our primal video method, which is the most efficient way to edit your videos without any rework or any wasted time. And I'll see you soon.